Dry Dock, Dry Dock, Dry Dock. Project update number five focuses on the upcoming dry docking for USS Kidd. An important announcement to follow. Afterwards, footage of the materials used for the bilge and keel blocks. And a challenge. If you enjoy this video, give us a like. Sharing is caring, so share with someone you think would enjoy. Thomas E. Floating Dry Dock number six is now freed up. We were at the end of a three vessel queue. Last vessel is now repaired. Our turn in the dock is coming up soon. The blocks in this video are not ours. They're being disassembled from the old ship and new ones will be prepared for us. Never seen a floating dry dock operate? Well, the tanks in the walls and the floor of this dry dock are flooded. The ship will be moved into place. Mooring lines will be placed from the ship to the walls with winches and cleats. And then divers will check regularly on the progress of the ship, the placement, and make sure she sits down properly on the blocks. Water is then pumped from the tanks and the dock rises until the ship comes to rest entirely on the blocks. Once the tanks are completely emptied and the ship is secured, the floating dry dock is then moved over to the repair section of the yard where work will begin. Speaking of dry dock, let's address some security concerns. Number one, just like when we went downstream, don't run out and jump in your bass boat when we go into dry dock and race over to the shipyard because they're gonna eject you. You don't, it's not safe. You're gonna get somebody hurt or you're gonna get hurt. So don't do it. It's my boat. Thomasy is a secure facility with some military contracts. Don't fire up your drone and start flying over the facility. You may end up having a military officer knocking on your door. That would be bad. You don't want that. Area 51, right? Don't drive down to the yard with your kids loaded up in the car and try to get in the gates of the shipyard. It's a secure facility. Don't bother the guards. It's an industrial environment. You can get hurt. Your kids can get hurt. Just stay at home and do this. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. If you subscribe, you'll see everything we have to offer. All the stuff getting out of the cradle, going down to the Gulf, etc. You'll see all the project updates and you'll see the live stream, particularly if you hit that notification bell that's somewhere here on the screen. I don't know where it may be back here, but hit that notification bell. When you do that, it's near the subscribe button. When you do that, it's going to ding your phone, ding your computer, ding your television, maybe. And you'll know the moment that we start live streaming for the dry docking. In addition to that, one thing you can do is donate, not just subscribe, but donate. We need the funding for our wish list and our need list. The need list is funded, but it's the bare minimum of our needs. We have some stuff we want to do to where we're not kicking the can down the road to our future ship keepers. Help us with that. You can go to USSKid.com and donate with your credit card. You can go to the museum. We're still open, as you can tell. We're open. You can come tour for $5 a head, no matter what age, and see the whole facility, see all the exhibits. While you're here, you can shop in our museum store. You can get uh, shipyard flags. You can get shipyard t-shirts, hats, coats, toys, glasses, all sorts of souvenirs. And if you don't live locally, you can shop in the store in the online store, USSKid.com. And in addition to souvenirs, in addition to donating on the website, you can donate by watching our videos, which circles back to subscriptions. Go back and subscribe, watch our videos. Every video you watch equals a donation for this nonprofit. Each one you buy is a bullet in the barrel of your best guy's gun. Now you may ask, Tim, why are you being a jerk? I'm not being a jerk. We love our fans, we love our supporters, but each of these security items that I've listed out exist because someone has done them. So be safe, be comfortable. If you love the kid, watch what's going on from the comfort of your home on our YouTube channel. Stay in the air conditioning. You're gonna get a better view anyway. Here's some wood for your viewing pleasure. It's being used for assembling the keel and the bilge blocks that will be supporting the kid in dry dock. Just by looking at them here in this video, can you tell me what type of wood that is? Let us know your guess in the comments. First right answer gets bragging rights and an attaboy directly from me. We'll see you in the next update via live live stream. Stay tuned.